Hey, what's going on, everybody? JB here with another political video. Today, we're going to be talking about Nancy Pelosi and how she's trying to add some stuff to the 25th Amendment. Um, before I get into the video, I just want to say this video is going to be a little bit more of one of my order kind of video style. Um, just rush, sort of going through it, like, bam, bam, bam. I'm not going to be, like, trying to focus on specific things as much. I'm just trying to get this one out to you guys. So let's get into the video. So, if you don't know what the 25th Amendment is, it's basically if the president is unable to serve for, like, if he's all dead, or if they've uh, gotten sick, or if they're, like, sick enough that they're out of commission, things like that, like a coma or something like that. It was made after uh, the assassination of the president, and that's why we have it. And it's supposed to be uh, trying to get a quote-unquote bipartisan, which there's nothing about bipartisan about our politics right now in the United States, and sad, but it's not true. She's trying to get it uh, passed that would make a little committee uh, that would basically, the whole idea of them is to sit there and say, okay, let's see, is this president mentally and or physically healthy? And I, I don't think that has anything to do with the 25th Amendment. It's, that's, that's not why I was made. It was made to, in case they were like mentally not there or if they're, fi if they're like dead, basically. That's what it is. And Trump is mentally there. And he's physically there. If he was on an intubator, it would go. It, that would make sense. It would go. It would, you don't need a committee to do this. You don't need a committee. Like it's it's literally <laughs> there's there's no point. I think it'd be like very obvious. Like, the thing is, if if they were to do it and Joe Biden was to win the election, God forbid. But if he did, immediately that the committee would kick him right off. Like it's it's very obvious. Like it's they're trying to get Kamal Harris in by doing it that way, but. Let's look at some of these articles. I just have a few articles that show it all off to you guys. So basically, uh, God, I, I hate that she's from California because I'm in California. And I just, I hate her. She, I, I don't hate, I very much so dislike her. There we go. Basically, she said that it's not for, uh, it's not for President Donald Trump, but it could be. Uh, basically, sh she's using it to try to push, as you can see here, uh, basically, JFK uh, was killed. That's why we have it. Uh, but she's basically saying that it's not for them to decide if Trump sh should have the 25th Amendment invoked on him, which there's no reason to. And here, Trump mimics my own thoughts about Nancy Pelosi trying to replace Joe Biden with Kamala Harris. Makes perfect sense. Uh, they don't... The, the Joe, poor Joe Biden, it feels like it's like elderly abuse watching that. It's just so sad. Basically, she's just she just wants to get Trump out of there. Because basically, if Trump's gone, and then it goes to Pence, and say Pence gets sick or something, I guess who's the new president? Nancy Pelosi. Yeah, it goes Trump, and then it goes to the VP, Mike Pence, and then it goes to the Speaker of the House, Nancy Pelosi. And we do not need that. We really do not need that at all. Okay, on to the next article. Uh, basically, so this one, she tries to say, oh, well, it's not about Trump. Uh, but then, I think it's funny that all the other ones one was saying about Trump because that's what it really is. Especially President Donald Trump's fitness to serve for announcing legislation those that they would create a commission to allow Congress to intervene under the 25th Amendment. And so, it's just, just stop. There's no reason to. She's saying that he had a strange tweet. Basically, what happened was Trump was saying saying he uh, told his people to stop having any uh, COVID-19 uh, like aid package talks. So the thing that people don't realize is uh, Every single time someone's tested, so the U.S. is like, we've tested this many people. It's like, so, so many people. So if we're starting there, but it's just such a large number of being tested, it's like crazy. You might think that's a good thing. So then you realize every test is like $300, so that's coming out of the taxpayer's money in the future. Right now, it's we're not being hurt by it. But once we're out of this COVID time, we're going to be like, taxes nonstop, or, we'll get, or, or debt is going up more and more and more. The thing is, there's people that get tests every week. My mom, my mom said, she's had the same person come in like 12 times to get tests and they can't turn them away. They can't. It should be that if you are exposed and you're having symptoms, then you can get a test. I'm sorry those asymptomatic people out there, but guess what? You shouldn't be able just to go get a test for without any suspicion. Like people are just like worrying and they're, they're getting like tests every week. And it's just racking up our debt. I haven't got a test. I, I, because I'm, I'm good. I don't go out into public places without a mask. I don't go around hanging out with people I don't know. I'm very, very uh, conscientious of how I act with people. So I don't need a test. And I haven't had any symptoms. That's what I'm saying. It's like, it's that easy. And then there's people that are like, Oh, I have like a, I have the sniffles. So I need to get the COVID test. 
it's like it just doesn't make any sense. But back back to the article. Um, continue on. Trips Trip does feel he said he's looking great. The, the people are saying his doctors give mixed signals. If you've seen him, he's walking around living good. They're just saying that because they want to be like, oh well, he might not actually be good. You don't really know. It's just it's just such a sad state of affairs that we're in right now. Also, I I don't really like her, but doesn't that look right there like she has? A, oh, someone's gonna. It's not like someone almost crashed while driving. It looks like she also has like a bruise right there. You know. Basically, yeah, she wants to just, she, that's what I'm saying, she, she wants to strip President Trump of his powers. It's just, it's just so sad. Like, I, I'm sorry I keep saying the same thing, but it's all I can really think about. Why is that an ad? So the amendment says, whenever the vice president and a major majority of either the principal officers of the executive departments or of such other body as Congress may be, may by law provide, transmit to the president pro tempore, to the Senate and the Speaker of the House of Representatives, the written declaration that the President is unable to discharge the powers and duties of his office, the Vice President shall immediately assume the powers and duties of the office as acting President. So that's the 25th Amendment. And yeah, it's not going to make it through. She's just doing it to... Pl the whole reason she's doing it, and they've done this for so many different things. They know it's not going to get passed. They just want it to make news coverage. So then they be like, see, we're doing this because we don't think Trump is a good person. We don't think he can mentally be there. When he has way better IQ than you. And Joe Biden is literally acting like a toddler in like a grown-up outfit. It's just, it's literally elderly abuse. Uh, I'm going to end the video off here. I hope you guys did enjoy. Uh, before I let you guys go, please leave a like down below. It really helps the channel out. And if you did enjoy this video, uh, check out a few of my other ones. There will be bubbles throughout the video. And... Consider subscribing, almost at 100 subscribers, and I want to hit that before November 3rd election. And come on, let's just keep it going. We got it, guys. Again, we, everyone, just stay safe. It's COVID season. Uh, Trump 2020, please have him in your prayers. Make sure he definitely gets better. And I'll see you next one. Peace, peace. Bye, guys.